continuing coverage of the postseason. The pivotal Game 5 set to go. Both these teams look ready to go, as does the official. Let's bring it on. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Lots of time left in this period. We're still scoreless. Rush has got the puck after winning the defensive zone faceoff. Gaining momentum along the wing. Shot! He scores! And does he ever? You know what's amazing, James? Every time he scores, it's like the entire bench elevates. Why? Because he is a leader on this team. He shows it on the ice and, of course, by example, off of it. Well, leadership comes in many ways, and for him, it's all about action and leading by example. It's hard work. It's the drive. It's the compete. It's getting to the dirty areas, and everyone on the bench recognize it. You can see that they're celebrating with him right now. The Avs were looking for a good start in this one, and they have certainly accomplished that with the first goal of the game just minutes in. Well, you know they would have talked about making sure that they established some presence and some pace in the game, in particular in the opening frame, James. But to get up a 1-0 lead on your opponent just minutes into the game, that is a fantastic start. Puck scooped up by Ebert. Still keeps a hold of it. Oh, what a hit it against the boards! Executed perfectly, James. This and Kemp's won the face off deep in their own end. Looks like we got a delayed tripping penalty coming up here. Receives the pass. This and Kemp's got him along the wall. Grabs the puck. And they got caught up in traffic and hits a stick. And there's the whistle stopping the play. Kiss Simone's getting called for tripping. Well, a timely power play at this juncture of the game, James, to even it up. This is huge for this power play. Your big stars, they need to shine. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. With possession along the wall. And loses possession after a solid hit. Oh, save on the play! What an incredible save. No idea how we got to that one, James. And the shooter is absolutely stunned. What a stop. From the blue line, they take control of it. Here's a shot. Comes up with a stop. Rush has got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. Oh, he stopped it. What a save on the play. And there's nothing technical about that. That is all about the will to find a way to make that save incredible, James. A tough penalty to take as you're looking for the equalizer. You're in a one-goal deficit, and you got to find a way to generate offense, James. Real tough one to take. Set to drop. We've got some four on four coming up. A few ways to play a four on four. You can sit back or you can be very aggressive on the puck. But you have to make sure that you're aware as well. There's more ice out there for your opponent too. Passes it in front. Oh, and they couldn't complete that. And as he steps back out onto the ice, they'll go to work with the man advantage here. Delayed penalty coming up here by the official. Made the stop on the play. Oh, he does it. James gets his first playoff goal. I mean, it's incredible the confidence that this should give him. I mean, the pressure and the stakes are high, and he delivers. I love the 1 3 1 set on the power play unit they used earlier. Listen, they had success, they scored, but there's so many variations off of it. I love the bumper position that can act as a decoy, allow the puck to get through to create those seams and open up those shot attack lanes. Feeds it to Volk. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Fire it. Fires it on net. Big save right at the end. Well, the play might come to an end for a few minutes at the end of this period, but the coaching never stops. I'm sure there'll be a few messages. <sighs> Set.
second period set to get underway. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Well, Cheryl, how do you sum this one up for the first 20 minutes? These McCams had a rough start and really put themselves in some bad spots to start the game, James. And as a result, they turned over the puck. They haven't managed it. I'm telling you, their coach is not going to be happy. Missing Kent's got the puck in their own end. They've got numbers here. Shot! We don't get many odd man rushes throughout a game, James. You have to capitalize on your opportunity. I thought they executed perfectly. They didn't overpass. The right player took the right shot. Nissen Kent's got one back, and suddenly we've got a new game here in period number two. And at the puck drop on this next faceoff, it will be critical. You want to dictate the tempo and the pace. Listen, they've been real creative. They've been getting a ton of shots on net. They just need to stay the course. Rush is ready to go on the attack. Poked away in the offensive end. All alone! Absolutely clutch at the stop. Oh, you gotta love this stuff, James. The game within the game, and this is a one-on-one -on -one battle, and this goaltender, he knows exactly where he's at, and he wins it. The Nationals will play it through the neutral zone. Well, there's not much time here before the goaltender's eyes are taken away, James, and he drops into that butterfly position. All you want to do when you can't see the puck is make yourself as big as possible, but this one has seeing eyes through traffic and finds the back of the net. Past the halfway mark of this period, you can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. And after the draw center, they've got a hold of the puck. Back to the point it goes. And the deadlock is broken as they take the lead. Well, that's a huge shift. You can see everyone standing up on the bench. They know how much it means, but it's the next shift that matters most now, James. You want to kind of push and put pressure on your opponent when they're down. Nissen Kent's gone up by one here late in period number two. Now to see if they can build on this when they get to the third. Well, they'll want to pounce right off this faceoff, James. They've had a ton of urgency in the flat last few shifts, and they found a way to get the go-ahead goal here. They're going to need to really work hard to hold the lead because you know that their opponent, they're going to have a bit of urgency here. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Looks to set up at the point now. He makes some consecutive saves there. He's got to be wondering where his defense are. I mean, how about a little help? That's find a way to get your glove on it. You got to be fast. You got to be quick and show those reflexes. He does that and makes the save. Offense is on face off and he wins the draw. And that's broken up. And when you shoot it into your own net trying to clear the puck, that's ugly. The Nationals extend the lead to two here as they get closer and closer to intermission, Cheryl. Great timing to go up by two. You've dictated the play. You're coming into the end of the second period, and you find a way to get another. Now, right off of this faceoff, they really want to set the tone and keep their opponent on their heels. Nissen Kemp's up for good reason. They have been the more complete team offensively, which is why they lead late in the second. There's the horn, 40 minutes in the books. We'll get a refresh for both the players. Ice, and we're back with a third period next. Okay, so And we are 
just moments away from the start of the third period. Final frame is underway here. Two-thirds of the way to the finish line, and this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? Russia's got to have a fresh start in this third period, James. They haven't been urgent, and they've been chasing the entire game, and I could tell that right from puck drop in the first period. They weren't urgent off of the faceoff. They weren't where they needed to be, and it's looked like that all game long. They need to change it now if they want to get back in this one. And he takes a shot, and that goes off a of body. Oh, here we go. This team knows how to turn it up another gear, and they have done The Avs played along the boards. Shot. What a save! He'll probably feel that one tomorrow. And that pass is redirected. Moves it to Ebert. Gets a piece of it to make the save. Pokes it away in his own end. Player goes down to the ice. There's the referee's hand in the air. Looks like we got a tripping pass. The Nationals are going to be shorthanded, tripping the call. The Avs once again send out their power play unit. Well, they've already scored tonight on the PP, James, and looking to really thread the needle again on this one. Their movement, their adjustments have been excellent thus far. Petitions moving the puck through his own zone. Grabs control of it at the point. Oh, he stopped that one on the one-timer. Goaltender covers it up, and we'll get a reset here. They fight for it along the boards. Looks like there's a delayed penalty being called here by the officials. Quick feed to Volk. On the attack along the boards. Pad save, and he made it look easy. Great job there. Can't get it to go. Nice poke check. From the top of the offensive zone here. Let's it go. Up to the challenge as he gets his pad on it. Oh, look at this. They are really starting to apply the pressure now. And a penalty coming up as the official stops the play. Russia's got a small window with a five on three. A short five on three here, James, that you know that they're gonna crash the net. They've gotta get it on their stick, off their stick, and they've gotta crowd the front. Score! And that's his first goal of the postseason ever. And he'll take it. It's much needed too, James. You get to the playoffs, you wanna make sure that your teammates have trust in you and you have trust in yourself because you wanna be an impact player. That's a nice start. Russia's got to be feeling confident now, getting that one back, Cheryl. And it puts a lot of pressure on the opponent, James. They've held the lead, and they've given up one. Now they're within one goal, which means it's striking distance in the third period. As a defender, you know when they're coming, and they got to win this faceoff and dictate the pace. And he takes the pass. Here he scores! They tied it up! Opportunity knocking, and they take advantage on the power play. Well, you spend so much time in practice working on it because you want to have different layers to throw off the PK units, and I thought they did a real effective job of reading what they were giving, and then they were able to bury it. Let's have another look at this, James. Yep, there it is. I mean, look at that net front presence, just the screen and the goaltender battling to find the puck. That's exactly what you need in the paint on a power play, and as a result, they score. The Avs have the equalizer they were searching for. Now we've got a new game. This is why the fans pay the money to see games like this. It's entertaining, it's fun, it's back and forth hockey, and it's going to wind down right to the final buzzer. Carries the puck up through center. Moves it quickly over to Jordan. Scores! The go-ahead goal puts them in front. Well, and this has been trending to happen, James. They've been closing on the puck quickly since an upward trajectory as this game's progressed and they find the back of the net. 
Well, this is a really smart shot through traffic, James. The recognition of the net front presence in screen, and the goalie drops to the butterfly position, really tries to make himself as big as possible, hoping that the puck just hits him because he can't see it. The Nationals with a huge goal here in this third period. Now buckle up, and can they hang on? Well, I think it's more than hanging on, James. they got to continue to attack, and they've got to manage the puck. I mean, yes, it's the third period. There's a lot of runway left here. It's only a one-goal game. Takes that pass back at the point. Dergachov's running and gunning tonight, James. He got the goal. Stars! And they strike Peter once again. Yeah, they do. And their opponent's down on their heels and deflated. they got to find a way to continue with the pressure. Be relentless and try and get another one. So much of the goaltending position is tracking the puck and trying to get the sight lines, James. And with only one player in front, you might lose it for a second. But if you outbattle and outwill the person in front, you're going to find it. Unfortunately, this puck, it beats him clean. Nizzy Kent's got to feel pretty good about where they're at now here in this third period, Cheryl. I like their game this entire game, James. Right from the puck drop, they've been aggressive on the puck, and they can't change it now. They've just got to continue to finish the way they started. Moves the puck. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. What a chance, but it blows up and over the net. Well, it isn't easy to create good quality scoring chances in the game today, James. So when you get it... Oh, he made the save! How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out, but profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. And he denied that opportunity. And as the final seconds tick away, listen to this place recognize a hard-earned victory. Good night.